it's the last time. It's the final. But I have one question. I have one question. Why do untidy people love to have people over? I just don't understand it. Do you know what I mean? I really don't understand it. And what confuses me is they invite you confidently, knowing that their house is a mess. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I know I'm going to be talking about their house at the moment I walk in. All right? I got invited to a dinner party. I walked in, I was like, wow, is this how they live? <laughs> what is this? Untidy people love to make you comfortable. They've got the cheek to say, take off your jacket, mate, and make yourself at home. No, I'm not staying. <laughs> Just passing through. <laughs> this house was ridiculous and I knew they had not cleaned it for years. I sat on the couch, at the back of a couch, I found a marathon bar. <laughs> a marathon bar? I haven't seen a marathon bar since 1990. Why? Because it's called Snickers now. How long was that there for? Ladies and gentlemen, this house was filthy. It was so bad, I took off my shoes when I left. <laughs> London tidy. <laughs> Some holidays are coming up, right? I'm looking forward to it. Good things about going on the holiday, you get to relax and hopefully you get some good weather, right? The bad, about, the bad part about holidays is when you come back, right? You come back, you spend all your money, you can't even afford to take yourself home. So what do you do? You call a mate. You call a mate and you plan ahead. I call my friend TJ, I say, TJ, listen, I'm coming back on Monday morning, 7 a.m. Heathrow Airport, Terminal 3. Can you please pick me up? The first thing liars do is answer immediately. Yeah, I got you, brother. I was like, whoa. <laughs> that was too quick. Monday morning, 7 a.m., okay? Terminal 3, Heathrow Airport. I need you to pick me up. He said, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am now happy. I have made my plans. I'm cool. I get back to Heathrow Airport, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing that wound me up was how other people who were on my flight were greeted at the airport. There was a lady on my left. She came through the doors. Her husband was standing there. He had a board with her name on it, Sally. <laughs> Sally met Dave, gave him a kiss on the cheek. They went home, happy days. There was a man on my right on the flight, ladies and gentlemen. He came through. 17 of his family members turned up. And they all got into one Nissan Micra. <laughs> I was like, this guy's a genius. And ladies and gentlemen, I had made my own plans too. I came through the door and I was like... <laughs> I was fuming. I was waiting for one hour. After an hour, ladies and gentlemen, a mutual friend of mine and TJ's turned up at the airport. His name was Gavin. I said, Gavin, where's TJ? He's supposed to be picking me up. Is he at the airport? Gavin said, yes. And I was like, thank God. And Gavin then said, he's going to Jamaica for two weeks. I just dropped him off. <laughs> Simon, I just want to personally say to you, right, this is the final, but I want to say thank you for pressing that golden buzzer because you've changed my whole life. And in return, Simon, I would love to invite you to my church. <laughs> but if you take me up on that offer, Simon, you have to cancel the rest of your plans. <laughs> because at my church, the finishing time is never the finishing time. <laughs> for years, I used to blame my pastor at my church because I thought he was the reason why church was going on for so long. But it's nothing to do with him. It's the bloody choir. <laughs> 16 choruses on one song. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen songs of praise. They sing the songs fast. They've got things to do. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. They sing it quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, we sing the same song at my church, but we sing it like this. I said it. church right if you don't have enough money for the basket you just bring extra next week not my church ladies and gentlemen they've got a cash machine <laughs> they have your money now I gave my pastor 10 pound because that's the most I could get right I gave my pastor 10 pound I said pastor could I please have some change he took my money and said God will change your life <laughs> ladies and gentlemen my name is Kojo God bless you all thank you very much